Okay, I pre-painted my pots. You need several layers. I used a foam brush. It gives the best coverage for the pots. We have the blue body. We have the medium pot as the bottom of the hat. We have the smallest pot as the top of the hat. And then we have a wooden ball as our pom-pom. Pom-pom is optional. If you don't want the pom-pom, you need to put something on top, like a button with a shank, to fill in that hole so you're not getting water in there. So we will undo our gnome. Now, when I painted the ball, I used wooden turnings. I got them uh, from craft stores, hardware store, uh, size is whatever looks good for you. I took my pipe cleaner, which I bent in half, and I stuck in the hole of the ball. And then I was able to paint it several times, and it dries rather quickly. So then I just set that aside. Now, make sure you shake your paint well, and a little bit goes a long ways. And I am going to paint a very thin line all the way around the rim of my pot. I'm just doing it the width of my paintbrush and trying to get an even line. And sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I want to keep it right below the rim of the flower pot. And I went all the way around the pot. And I think because of the black, it will work just with the one coat. I got a little too much paint in spots, but that is my my thing. The belt has been painted around. So now I'm going to create feet. I load my brush up and basically draw a half circle. I kind of twirl my brush and I've got a, a shoe. Now you have to make sure the other shoe is over on the other side and hopefully somewhat the same size. You can always practice before you do that. But there are my two feet. So my beard must come down in the middle there. Okay. Now put my paint off to the side. Now I am going to glue my pom-pom onto the hat. This big knob only has one hole in it. So I can just glue it on and let it dry. Weather will determine your amount of drying time. I'm using Gorilla Glue. You could hot glue. You could E6000 whatever you're used to using. But now I will let him dry. Coming back over here, and always make sure you shake your paint well before using it. Now this gets a little trickier. Have to, I want to make a fatter beard, but comes down a little bit to the center there. And what I'm going to do is just basically draw lines going down, kind of bump over the rim, and I want to taper it in 
so it goes to a point. And then I'm just going to kind of fill in, trying to make his beard a little thicker. I experimented with several different things trying to make the beard because I wanted it to look scraggly and dimensional. It's not always the easiest thing. Hopefully I'm not running out of But you want your beard to come down right to the edge of your pot. Now this will take a little bit of time to dry. And sometimes you can just pull the extra up that collects around the rim. Pull some of it down. Okay. Now this will take longer to dry because the paint is very thick. Okay, my beard is still quite wet, but for the sake of time, we're going to proceed. Now I'm going to put my hat on. Okay, so we have the bottom section of the hat on. Now I'm taking my top hat and putting on there. He's there. Now, I used a small button turning. It's just a little wooden knob that I got in the hardware store. You can use a button. You can uh, paint a little circle on. Uh, experiment see what you have at home I know my button is a little bit heavy so it will take time for the for it to dry so what I'm going to do is take the top off now I now know that I want to put my nose right up against the red beard Stop, it's not a red beard. I have marked the spot where I want to put my nose of my gnome. Put some Gorilla Glue on. You can hot glue E6000, whatever works best for you. But you must get it centered on the beard and the feet. And then you need to hold it in place while everything dries. Otherwise, your nose will slip down to the floor. This was my little sample that I had started. And he has a different knob for his hat. It's a knob that has a hole all the way through both sides. So I stuck the pipe cleaner up through when I was painting. So now I just thread the pipe cleaner through the center and then down into the center of the second pot and there he has his hat on. Once again this is my finished gnome. His nose is a little large but gnomes are, are gnomes. Now I will either take this all apart and spray each flower pot separately and then stack them back together or as I prefer, just leave it all together, Spr spray seal everything on it, several coats, let it dry, and then I will take him out and come spring, set him in my garden or on the edge of the steps. And there you have your garden gnome. I hopefully this one has, the glue has dried, otherwise his nose will fall off. And then I will just stack him. And there you have garden gnomes. I chose just three flower pots that I liked the proportions. The directions called for two, four, and six inch. They're hard to find this time of year. It's not flower pot season. So I got mine at the craft store and took it from there. So hopefully you've enjoyed our garden gnome presentation. Thank you.